Hi, welcome to another video tutorial with Divi Nitro. I'm just going to run through how to set up uh, the minification. Um, so, if you click on, uh, yeah, if you go to Divi Engine and click on Divi Nit uh, Nitro minif Minifier, we have these settings over here. So, what uh, Divi Nitro does is it uh, defers. It minifies, combines, and defers your JavaScript, and it minifies and combines your CSS. It doesn't defer your CSS uh, because then the website would look messed up before it loads. So yeah, it's not good to do that. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Well, the first thing we need to do is um, we've we've given you the, the ability to specify which files or which scripts you want to minify. Now the reason why we've done it this way is because in the past we've used other plugins and this is why we developed Nitro initially was we used other plugins where we, where we enabled you know script minification and it just messed up the websites because of one script or two scripts that weren't quite working and there was no um, control whereas with Divi Nitro you can specify each script. So if there is one that's messing up, you just remove it and you can still minify and combine the rest. Okay, so how do we know what files we have on our website? Well, this is where we've got this uh, helper called a uh, Nitro helper, which shows the scripts on the, on the front, front end. So the first thing to do is to enable the helper and click Save Changes. Go to the front end of your website and reload the page. And in the nav bar, you'll see this thing say in the top right say Nitro Minifier. So click on that, and then it'll give you a page of all the, the JavaScripts and the CSS files that are loaded on your website. This is just a dummy website, so I haven't really done much. Just installed WooCommerce to add some other scripts, but over here, pretty much, you can see them. You got Add to Cart, a Cookie, WooCommerce. Uh, WooCommerce fragments, card fragments, so Divi custom scripts and ET core common. That's like the that, those are Divi scripts. Um, and then the WooCommerce CSS, Divi fonts, parent theme, which is, uh, I mean, it might be named differently for yours, but because I'm using a child theme, I've named the parent theme um, as the the Divi theme, and then my child theme and uh, yeah and then the Google fonts now just one thing to point out uh, Divi Nitro only minifies and combines scripts that are on the website so it doesn't do external scripts and it doesn't do scripts that are not enqueued so enqueued is the correct way of adding a script to your website if you have an enqueued script you know please check it out and, and do it that way and then Nitro can do it if you just add the script into your head of your website you know uh, using HTML it won't Defer is it's a way to minify and combine it. Whereas if you if it's enqueued, it will. So Google Fonts, I believe, is external, so that won't do it. But let's let's just have a little test. So the first thing I would I would suggest doing is um, okay. It's just another to, another thing to point out. JavaScripts you eat, you have some JavaScripts in the footer and some in the header, so they need to be separated. If you add them all, Nitro will automatically separate it. But it's, it's helpful for you to, just to add them separately. Okay, so let's try add all the green ones, which are all the JavaScripts in the footer. If you notice here, yeah, all the green JavaScripts in the footer. So let's add that into our settings. Go to enable script minification, and in one box, add all the green ones. Add another queue, and then add all the aqua ones. There's only one at the moment. Click save changes. Now reload your page. First thing I'll do is just check, make sure the website looks as you had it before. Make sure things are working, especially with JavaScript. Is checking that your you know your contact forms are working. That uh, yeah, that just it all is all looking like it was the same. If it is, click on minify, and you'll see it's all been crossed out and to mention that it has been combined and compressed and with JavaScripts deferred. So that's all been done and the website's looking good. I would check it in an incognito window. I would check on different browsers so there's no caching involved and if you're using a caching plugin clear that as well and uh, yeah and and 
if all goes well, happy days. Let's say there's an issue with, I don't know, um, adding products to my cart. I might want to exclude that one, which is the WooCommerce Add to Cart scripts, or the WooCommerce Cart Fragments. Remove one at a time, and if 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 I find the issue, uh, maybe tr sometimes what happens is it might be conflicting with something else over there. So try and move it to the end of the queue or in a new queue. See if that helps. If it still doesn't work, then just remove the scripts. Unfortunately, there's something isn't quite working. So, but it's better to have the bulk of your scripts modified rather than just none. Um, so the reason why I say move to the end of the queue is sometimes maybe this script. I mean it doesn't, in this example it doesn't, but let's say sometimes this script uh, is reliant on, so the first script might be reliant upon the, the second script being loaded first. When you compress it, these this becomes first, this becomes second. So if you move this to the end, maybe, I don't know, it depends on the code, maybe this might work because this is loaded first and then this is loaded second. So that's, it's a, it, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit of a, a play around you know to see if things work and um, yeah so it requires a bit of work but once you get the hang of it it's pretty it's pretty simple to set up uh, the style minification is exactly the same most of it's all in the head so you just copy all of that paste it in there save changes reload the page the style minification would be how the website looks at the moment the website's looking good it's just uh, got another page, yeah, looking good. Nothing wrong here. Let's check. Okay, it's com combined and compressed WooCommerce and the parent theme and the child theme. It has not done the Divi fonts and the uh, Google fonts. Now, the reason why it hasn't done that is because it's either an external font or it, there's something going wrong and it just hasn't done it. So, this means that Nitro cannot minify and combine these, um, unfortunately. But it will do all those scripts that are on the on your domain or on your server. Um, so if you want, you probably could uh, download this if you're really that concerned. Download it off Google and add it to your child theme, and then enqueue it in your child theme, and then it would do it. Uh, if that makes sense. Okay, so at the moment I've you know I've comp comp compressed it quite nicely. If we just view the page uh, and let's go to Nitro Cache. So there's the CSS file, and that's telling me that it has done the WooCommerce layouts, general layouts, inline parent theme, and child theme, and uh, where's um. Okay, so this over here is the, it's automatically done it, but uh, this is WooCommerce small screen. It's minified WooCommerce small screen separately. I mean, this has got to WooCommerce, but that's only with screens uh, lower than 7, 6, 8. So Nitro automatically uh, recognized that and then separated the two uh, minified files. Um, so let's go down. There should be one of the, uh, this is all... Um, there we go, Nitro JavaScript cache. So this one has uh, done Jay's Cookie, WooCommerce, WooCommerce Fragments, Divi Custom Scripts, blah blah, and it's compressed in all, all those. And it's separated, yeah, well, WP Embed isn't another one. So as you can see, uh, it's, com it's compressed, it's compressed at all. And combined it all into one script rather than one, two, three, four, five, six scripts. Um, the site still looks good, so it's done it successfully. Yeah, so I hope that's helped. Um, oh wait, there's one more thing, sorry. The other thing is enable inline modification. So on the actual page itself, uh, you know, the, the code, there's quite a lot of spaces and comments and if you click on enable inline minification it will comp compress all the scripts on the page so you see it's compressed the, the the web page so it's this so it's a lot smaller now this can cause 
um, issues with the with the website so just double check it I mean the one thing it does do is it is it uh, uh, it removes the JavaScript that I have that hides this so if you just clear the if you just hide the helper then you can see the website um, and the website looks good obviously this is a very simple website so if you are something a bit more complicated this might cause issues and if it does just you know disable it it, do, it isn't doesn't cause a massive increase in speed this I must admit uh, but it's just something you can do so uh, yeah I hope that's helped any questions please can you just comment on YouTube or but get in touch via Twitter or Facebook or, ev or even sub submit a support ticket um, we'd love to hear from you uh, the other thing sorry I just seen it yeah I haven't l let you know so Nitro cache is a files. So if you make changes, just clear the cache and then it will clear the files and make sure it's seen the latest ones. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the last time, I hope, <laughs> I, hope, I hope this has helped you. Any questions, get in touch. Uh, check out the videos on um, how to set up the defer images. And uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do a video for that. I'm going to do a video for uh, like setting up a caching plugin as well just to give you an idea of how to do that um, to run, run alongside Divi Nitro uh, yeah so have a great day and I'll speak to you soon cheers <laughs>